Well, hello again, everyone. Professor Prophet coming to you from Crabs University, and we've got one of our Fibonacci strategies for you this evening. This one's a roulette strategy, the Fibonacci Double. Now, this is a $1,500 buy-in. 10% uh, will mean we have a $150 win goal. Now, we start off with uh, two bets, $10 each on the second and third columns. So that's the first double. We have a double bet. And then our uh, progression, we use the Fibonacci progression. And uh, we only go up after our second loss. So that's another double, the Fibonacci double. So if you like this video, we ask that you give us the old thumbs up. And that way we know you like, you like what we're presenting to you. And also, if you have not already subscribed to the Crabs University channel, uh, we'd love to have you go ahead and push that button right now and become part of the student body here at Crabs U. So let's head on down to the felt now. We'll explain exactly how the Fibonacci double is bet, what the progression is, and then we'll spin the wheel, roll the ball for a few minutes, and see if we have a casino-worthy strategy here. Now, as always, we uh, advise that you use this on your software. Try it out a few times before you take it to the casino and be sure this is a, a, a strategy with which you are comfortable. So let's head on down there now and take a peek. We'll see you down there shortly. Okay, everyone down here on the virtual roulette table, and we're getting ready to spin our Fibonacci double roulette strategy. Now this does require a $1,500 buy-in. And if you look at the top right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see the last four numbers in the balance amount is $1,500. So that's how we'll keep track of where we are with our bankroll during this session. Now $1,500 buy-in, of course, means uh, a $150 win goal, which is 10% of our buy-in. Now how this is played, we start off with a $10 bet on the second and third column and that's why we need a $1,500 buy-in because we have a little higher uh, base level than we normally do. Now if we lose we'll stay at this level for a second uh, spin. If we lose a second time then we will increase our bets to 20 and 20. Now what we'll be doing is we increase these bets after two losses and we'll use the Fibonacci sequence and that is, uh, you get that by adding the previous two bets together, like we had the $10 bet and then the $20 bet. So the next bet, if we lost on both those levels, would be $30. And then the $20 and the $30, if we lost again, would be $50. And you just continue adding those up. So the sequence is 10, 20, 30, 50, 80, 130, 210, 340. 550 and then 890. Now, of course, we would probably bust out uh, of our $1,500 bankroll long before we got to the $890 bet, but that'll give you some idea of how the sequence works. And um, we uh, have 24 numbers covered, so we shouldn't get on many long losing streaks. But the lower progress or the slower progression will uh, keep our bankroll safe. For those times when we do so uh, $1,500 uh, buy-in and let's get our bets back down to $20 so that's 10 and 10 10 on the second column 10 on the third column and you can change columns we're just going to leave it here uh, just to keep it simple second and third column and we have our bets down here's our first spin and let's see if we can get off to a good start here $150 win goal, and that's 29 black, so that's a second column hit, and that'll win us uh, $10, so that's a new session high at 15.10, and so let's spin it again. Number this time is 23 red, so that's another second column hit, and another $10 win, so that's 15.20 now, new session high. And we're spinning for our third number here. See if we can keep this streak going. 21 red. So that's a third column hit. So that's another win for us. And that puts us at 1530. So let's spin it again. And our number this time is 28 black. That's the first column hit. So that's our first loss. So we will stay at this level. 
And if we get another loss, then we will increase to 20 and 20. And 14 red, so that's a, a hit for us. And that gets us back to 1520. Our session high is 1530. So if we can get a, another hit here, that would get back to our session high. And we could go back down to our base level. So four black this time, that is a loss. So that's our second loss. So now we'll need to go up uh, another uh, level. That's 20 and 20. And we're spinning. Here we go. Session high again right now is 15.30. And there's 13 black, so that's another loss, our first loss at this level. So we'll spin again. That's three losses uh, in a row. And there's 33 black, so that's a score hit for us. And that gets us all the way up to 14.80. So we're still $50 shy of our session high. And we've had one loss at this level. And there's seven reds, so that's another loss. So now we go up to uh, 30 and 30. And going with the uh, Fibonacci sequence, if we lose two here, our next bet will be 50 and 50 as we add the 20 and the 30 together. So there's one red, that's another loss. So that's our first loss at this level. And we hit a bit of a rough patch here, a little bit of a cold streak. So there's a second column hit, the eight black. And that brings us up to 1410, $30 win. And let's see if we can get on a hot streak here now. That's four black, that's another loss. So now we'll go up to $50 on each one of these bets. And you can see we're down $150 right now. So let's see if we can make some of that up here and start hitting a few numbers on the second and third column. So there's 35 black, that's the second column hit, and that's a $50 win, so we'll spin it again. And this time we have a 32 red, so that's another second column hit, and that gets us up to 14.50, so we're $80 shy of our session high. Let's see if we can hit a couple more numbers here. Four black is a loss. That's our first loss at this level. And we are spinning again. And zero, that's definitely a loss. So 30 and 50. So our next uh, bet in the Fibonacci sequence is uh, 80 and 80. So we'll bring these up to 80 and 80. And $160 total bet. And we're spinning. 24 black, so that's a score hit for us. And that puts us at 13.30, so we still have a ways to go uh, to get back to our session high and even to get back to even. So there's 29 black, that's another win for us. And now we're at 14.10 and spinning again. And there's 23 red, that's a second column hit for us, so. Uh, 1490 now. Let's see if we can get one more hit. And that should put us at a new session high if we can do that. 27 red, that's third column. And that puts us at 1570. So that is a new uh, session high. So let's clear this out. And we'll start back over at the base level. So that is uh, 10 and 10. And we're spinning. Here we go. Fifteen black. That's the third column hit. So it's a new session high at fifteen eighty, and we're spinning again. This time it's eight black. That's a second column hit. So that's uh, another session high at fifteen ninety, and our next spin. That's 25 red, so that is a loss. That's our first loss at this level. So we will stay at our uh, current level, 10 and 10. 
And there's 29 black, so that's a score hit for us. And that puts us at uh, 1580. So let's spin it again and see if we can get back to our session high here. 21 red, that's the third column, so that puts us at 1590. That's our session high, so uh, it meets our session high. So we will reset everything, zero losses. And of course, we're still at our base level. So let's go ahead and spin again. That's seven red. That's a loss. That's our first loss at this level. So let's try that again, see if we can get a score hit here. There's nine red. That is a score hit. So that brings us back up to 1580. And let's spin again and see if we can get back to our session high. 36 uh, red, that's the third column hit. And we're back to 1590 now, so we'll reset to zero losses. And spin it again and see if we can get a new high now by hitting a number here. 25 red is not the number we need, that's a loss. So we'll stay at this level and spin it again. As you can see, by having more numbers covered, there's a hit for us. And a slower progression, uh, the Fibonacci's a pretty volatile system, but this tones it down quite a bit uh, where it uh, makes it a lot more playable strategy. So there's another score hit for us, and that puts us at 1590, back to our session high. So we will reset to zero losses and spin it again. 26 black, that's the second column hit, so that puts us at a new session high at 1600. So our goal, of course, is $150 win, that puts us at a $100 win. And that's 30 red, that's a third column hit, so that puts us at 1610. And we continue to grind out these small wins and just got to keep them going. 23 uh, red is a second column hit, so that puts us at 1620. And let's spin it again. Number this time is five red. That's a second column hit. So that's another ten dollars. That puts us at sixteen thirty. And our next spin. Twenty one red, a third column hit. That puts us at sixteen forty. And now we just really need one more hit to reach our session goal. So let's see if we can make that happen right here. 27 red, and that's the third column hit. And that will do it. That puts us at 1650. And I think we'll call that a video at this point. Uh, that is the Fibonacci double strategy. Double because we have two columns, and double because it takes two losses before we uh, move up to our next level on the Fibonacci sequence. So I hope you enjoyed that. We started off uh, with a $1,500 buy-in, cashed out with $1,650. So that's a $150 profit. Uh, we did hit a couple of uh, cold streaks there, but with the slow sequence and the uh, uh, pretty wide coverage of the board, uh, we were able to get back and hit a few numbers in a row, put some wins together, and book a nice win with the Fibonacci double. So we hope you enjoyed that. If you did, we ask that you give us the old thumbs up and that way we'll know you're enjoying the videos that we're presenting to you. Also, if you have not already subscribed to the Craps University channel, we would love to have you do that at this time. Um, we offer free ride scholarships, so it costs you absolutely nothing. And we do uh, roulette strategy videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, and we do crap strategy videos on Sundays. So that's three videos a week uh, featuring the two best games in the casino. So once again, we do thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll come back and visit with us again. Uh, this is Professor Profit coming to you from Craps University, and if you're out there spinning that wheel this week, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. And may all your numbers come up winners. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.